Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 14 of Selenium 4 that is switching directly to parent frame using parent frame command or method in Selenium 4. So till Selenium 3, the scenario used to be like this. Okay. So let's say this is a web page. And uh, inside this web page, there is a let's say there is a frame. Inside this web page, let's say there is a frame. And inside this frame, there is another frame, which is a child frame of this parent frame. Okay, this is another frame. So let me write down this is a web page and a default page. Then this is a parent frame, parent iframe, guys. And this is a child frame. A frame inside another frame, okay, an iframe inside another frame, which is a child frame of this parent frame. Okay, let me write it again. Uh, parent, uh, sorry, this is a page and this is a parent, okay, parent frame and this is the child frame. Fine. Now, guys, how to switch to how to come to this child frame? In order to come to the child frame, we have to start from the page, okay. Once we are on this page, once the page is loaded from the web page, we have to switch to the parent frame first. Okay, we cannot directly go to the child frame, right? From parent, uh, from this page, we cannot directly, this is not possible, okay? Directly from here, here to here is not possible. So what we have to do, we have to first switch to the parent frame. After switching to the parent frame, we have to switch to the child frame, okay? Then if I want to switch back to the child frame, uh, from child frame to the parent frame, if I want to switch back from the child frame to the parent frame is this possible in selenium 3 it is not possible guys okay in selenium 3 this is not possible switching directly switching from the child frame back to the parent frame is not possible then what is the process of switching uh, to the parent frame from child frame so after you switch to the child frame if you want to go to the parent frame the only process was to first switch to the page directly default page default content you have to switch then you have to again come to the parent frame this is only possible in the Selenium 3, guys. Okay. You cannot directly go from child to the its parent frame. You have to first go to the default page and then come from there to the parent frame. But in Selenium 4, they introduced a new method, guys. That is, the name of this method is parent frame method. Okay. The met method is parent frame. This is a parent frame method. So what is the difference here? The same scenario. This is a web page and uh, this is a parent frame. And uh, let's say this is a child frame. So this is a parent, parent window. This is a pa uh, sorry, parent window I'm saying. This is a default web page, okay? Default uh, web page you can say. And this is a parent frame. And this is a child frame, okay, child frame. For example, if you want to uh, go to this child frame, in Selenium 4 also, you have to first go to the parent frame. And uh, after switching to the parent frame, you have to switch to the child frame like this. Okay. Again, from child frame, if you want to switch back to the parent frame, you can directly switch back to the parent frame, guys, using this method known as this parent frame method okay using this parent frame method you can switch back directly to the parent frame this is this option is not available in selenium 3 guys it's newly introduced in selenium 4 one is one of the new features of selenium 4 where you can directly switch from the child frame to the parent frame okay you don't have to uh you don't have to like uh okay go to the default page and come back to the parent frame that is not required guys since because of this method you can directly switch from child frame to the parent frame okay so let me practically demonstrate okay this particular parent frame method to you so for that uh, let me open the eclipse id so so far uh, these are the different uh, demonstrations i did let me create a new class i'll say demo 12 and uh, public static void main finish create a inside the main method and just uh, write down the basic steps like web driver uh, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay. Import this. Import this. 
these are basic steps so before this i will uh, for safe side i will add this web driver manager web driver manager dot uh, chrome it's not coming web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay it's working so driver dot uh, manage dot window dot maximize for maximizing the browser window and then driver dot manage dot uh, 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 what's happening okay this is going on time modes dot uh, implicitly wait okay then uh, time unit dot seconds these are the basic steps guys uh, for every test you need these things okay to make your test run smoothly then guys uh, we have to open this application uh, here we have an example application guys https colon double slash www dot q u a c k a t quackage dot com slash html slash tags slash html underscore iframe underscore tag dot cfm okay this url you have to take and uh, this has some parent and child iframes guys okay that's why i'm taking this example driver dot get so in other websites uh, we cannot get this uh, parent and child iframe so very less websites are there on the web which have this uh, parent and child iframes okay so let me visually show you what is a parent and a child iframe first uh, so here open this application that i was talking about and uh, after you go to this application if you scroll down a bit uh, as you can see there is a box here right so this is a frame and inside this is another frame okay inspect this this is a parent iframe okay and inside this parent iframe somewhere around inside this parent iframe we have another iframe okay this is a child iframe and this is a parent iframe parent and child if you scroll down a bit uh, you see parent iframe means complete uh, this white box is getting located and inside the white box another box is there if you hover this the inside box that is the inside iframe is getting this is a child iframe guys okay whatever i'm highlighting now is a child iframe this is a parent iframe so now we have the iframes ready so in this application so guys uh, how to switch to the parent iframe okay so here you see there are two iframes so one is parent and inside the child iframe is there first let's switch to the okay in order to go to this child iframe we have to first start with the parent iframe okay so how to switch to the parent iframe so simple guys uh, inspect this parent iframe first and this is iframe iframe with the src is equal to some text is there okay so i will create a css selector here select this and say control f and i will double click and then copy this uh, text okay ending text editor code for this is src attribute name and its value has some editor code for at the end and iframe is a tag so i will create a uh, css selector for this iframe okay src ends with okay ends with code for enter okay so it's locating the parent uh, iframe so copy this parent iframe x path first web element parent frame is equal to private dot find element by dot css selector and you need to provide the css selector for locating the parent iframe now after creating this web element for the parent iframe we can now switch to this uh, parent frame okay parent frame so how to do that driver dot this is like switching to parent iframe okay initially the control was there on the default web page from the default web page that is default web page is nothing but this entire web page from this default web page we are going inside this uh, first parent frame okay first parent frame the surrounding box so switch to parent iframe first that is driver dot what is the command guys switch to command it's already there in selenium 3 frame here we need to select parent frame okay whatever the parent frame i created i will provide this web element here okay we need to provide the web element so it will switch you to the parent frame once you have to switch to the parent frame okay then you can go to the child frame right this frame so how to switch to the child frame for that also so we have to create a web element for the child frame so inspect this uh, child frame and it has some other uh, iframe here and this iframe src is ending with some text like tag underscore example guys okay copy this this uh, no 
one minute uh, double click and then copy this uh, ending part tag underscore example dot uh, cfm okay copy this now here instead of editor code just give that ending part and you see the child iframe is getting located with this css selector now using this i am going to create a web element web element child frame is equal to driver dot find element by dot css selector give the child frame css selector and now this is the web element of the child frame now for, uh, as we as we are inside the parent frame okay as we are inside the parent frame this child frame will be visible right directly from default web page this uh, child frame will not be visible guys okay in order to go to this child frame we have to go from the default web page switch to the parent frame and from parent frame you have to switch to the child frame this child frame is not visible to the default web page by default okay so now since we have already inside the parent iframe let's since the child frame will be visible to the parent iframe let's switch to that okay switching to child iframe driver dot switch to dot frame here give the this child frame web element of the child frame after switching to the child frame okay in selenium 3 switching back to the parent frame method is not available okay parent frame method is not available for switching directly from the child frame to the parent frame in order to switch to the switch back to the child to the parent we have to first go to the default page and again come from come to the parent so it's a very lengthy process to overcome this they created a shortcut method like parent frame where directly if you are inside the child frame you can directly go to the its parent frame using this method parent frame method this is the method guys okay so let me let's switch back to the to the parent frame how to switch back to the parent i frame driver dot same simple comments switch to and there is a newly introduced method known as parent frame which was not there in the selenium 3 guys so it is introduced in selenium 4 okay so parent frame done so using this simple parent frame method you can uh, switch from child frame to the parent frame again you are back to the again you are back to the parent frame now so how to make sure that you are inside the parent frame so this child frame is only visible to this parent frame okay if this child frame is visible okay is displayed or something inside this uh, current frame then that means we are inside the parent frame so for that i am saying if okay if since we are inside the parent frame the child frame child child frame web element will be visible okay this is the only web element available here okay as you can see here inside the parent frame there is no ui element okay there is no heading no text nothing blank okay only the thing is that is available is child frame so i will treat this as a web element this entire frame as a web element and see that whether this is this web element is available or not if it is available that means we are inside the parent frame if this child frame element okay dot is displayed is available or displayed then system dot out dot print element inside parent frame i will say okay and then i will say driver dot close to close the browser so guys uh, you don't have to worry much about this program only thing you have to see is that uh, switching back from the child frame to the parent frame directly using this parent frame method okay so run this so it will print inside a parent frame because we have switched back from the child frame to the parent frame successfully so let it uh, complete the execution though you see inside parent frame so that's this is how guys using the parent frame method we can switch from the child frame to the parent its parent frame directly okay which was not possible in selenium 3 and it's uh, introduced in the selenium 4 okay so that's it guys in the next video session i am going to explain how to install and uninstall add-ons using these two methods okay which are newly introduced in selenium 4 so i am going to explain one of the new features of selenium 4 as part of the part 15 of this series where you are we will be able to install and uninstall add-ons using these two methods which are introduced in selenium 4 okay so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye